There was a lynching mob that came before a judge who accused them of hanging a man without fair and objective trial. Oh, your honor, the leader said, we listened very fairly and objectively to every word he had to say. Then we hung the son of a bitch. I wanted to maintain my objectivity, but Mother Miriam wouldn't believe that. She couldn't have known about Marie. But she must have suspected something. Marie was my younger sister who decided she had a vocation to the convent when she was 15. So my mother sent her off without a second thought and I never saw her again. I received a message late one night that Marie had died of acute and unattended appendicitis because her mother superior wouldn't take her to a hospital. Hmm. Well, no, I guess at heart I couldn't be very fair and objective now, could I? But I tried. I remember waiting to view Marie's body in a little convent room and staring at those spotless walls and floors and thinking, my God, what a metaphor for their minds. And that's when I realized that my religion, my Christ, is this, the mind. Everything I do not understand in this world is contained in these few cubic inches within this shell of skin and bone and blood. I have the secret to absolutely everything. I look at a tree and I think, isn't it wonderful that I have created something so green? God isn't out there. He's in here. God is you. Or rather, you are God. Mother Miriam couldn't understand that, of course. Oh, she reminded me so much of my mom and mother. And as for Agnes, well. Hello.